Okay, this question, question 15. We're told that we have a right angle triangle, we've got two sides, and we're asked to work out the length of AC. So IE, we're asked to work out this length here. Give your answer correct to one decimal place. Now, when you hear the word right angle triangle, you should be thinking two things straight away. Is the question about Pythagoras? Or is the question trigonometry? And by that, I mean Sokotoa. Now, we are given two sides and we want to work out the third side. So that indicates to me it's Pythagoras question. It's got nothing to do with angles here at all. We're not asked to find an angle or use an angle. So it's definitely Pythagoras. Okay, so we're asked to work out the le length of AC. When you're dealing with Pythagoras, always identify the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side and it's always equal um, to... Uh, the side is always the longest side opposite the right angle. So there's our hypotenuse. And we're going to label that C. And we're going to label our two shorter sides, A and B. It doesn't matter what order. Now, Pythagoras' theorem says the following. It says that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C squared, the, what we're trying to work out, the length AC. So this AC squared is going to be equal to 39 squared add 70 squared. Okay, so we can work that out on the calculator. So we can say that 39 squared add 70 squared is as follows, 6421. So we know that AC squared is equal to 6421. Two, one. So therefore, AC is going to be the square root of 6421. And so we work out the square root of 6421 and we get 80.13. So this is 80.13. We're supposed to give our answer correct to 1DP. So we put a line after the first decimal place. Because it's a 3, we round off. So we write 80.1 centimetres correct to one decimal place.